Hi guys, in this video, we will learn how to prepare the low normalization schedule by using flat rate method. This method is our last method of low normalization schedule. Okay, we already learned how to prepare the low normalization schedule by using these methods in the previous video. Okay, if you have not watched it, then please watch that video link in the description below. But today, we will learn by using this method. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, here we have some, you know, parameters of time value of money. We will, you know, follow these, you know, parameters to put the value and calculate these things, okay? But before I start to go ahead, I would like to tell you one thing about this, you know, method. Under this method, the, you know, payment column, interest column and principal column. That means these three parameters of a, you know, low amortization schedule under this method will equal or fixed over the period okay you can see the statement here okay all right now let's you know provide some value for these parameters okay so for present value i'm going to put the value 75,000. similarly for number of years i'm going to put three years similarly for annual rate of return i'm going to put 12 percent and now for compounding method number of periods and periodic interest rate we already know that how to calculate it and prepare it if you don't know then please watch the first video of this series that is how to prepare the loan amortization schedule by using reducing balance method by clicking i button okay now click here and now let's calculate the fixed total payment and it can be calculated by simply dividing the total future value by the number of period okay so press the equal to sign and now click this one divide by this one and now press the entity similar for fixed interest payment it can be you know calculated by simply dividing the you know total interest by the number of period so press the equal to sign and now click this one divide by this one and now press the enter key similarly for you know fixed principal payment it can be calculated by you know dividing the principal amount that is present value by the number of period so press the equal to sign and now click this one divide by this one and now press the enter key now you can see we have a zero amount for in these two parameters because we we have not calculated it, these things okay now let's calculate this one then this value will be you know affected all right so for future value it can be calculated by simply adding the interest rate to the present value okay so so let's calculate it so press the equal to sign and now click this one plus this one and now press the enter key similarly for total interest it can be calculated by simply multiplying the you know number of periods and periodic interest rate to the present value okay so press so let's calculate it so press the equal to sign and now click this one times this one times this one and now press that value. you can see now we got some value for these parameters okay now let's prepare the you know amortization set okay so click here and put the value zero as a period zero and now click here and now let's provide the you know present value by be linking the cell difference so press the equal to sign and now click this one to get this value and now let's fix this cell by pressing the fop now press the enter key and now click here and now put the value one as a period one and now select these two cell and uh, dr drag from period one to 1095 because we have used you know three years as a number of years and when we will you know convert this year into daily it will become 1095 okay so drag from 1 to 1095 all right now scroll up and now click here for beginning balance and now let's calculate it and it can be calculated by simply linking this cell okay so press the equal to send and now click this one and now press the enter key now click here and put the pointer here and double click on this corner to drag down the value all right similarly for payment we have already calculated it so we will just you know link the sale reference okay so press the equal to send and now click this one okay and now let's fix this sale by pressing the fop and now press the enter key now click here and put the pointer here and double click on this corner to drag down the value all right similarly for interest we have already calculated so let's make the link so press the equal to sign and now click this one and now let's fix this cell by pressing the fop and now press the enter key now click here and put the pointer here and double click on this corner to drag down the value all right similarly for principal we can calculate it same as these techniques okay so press the equal to sign 
and select this one because we have already calculated it so we will you know just make the link okay so click here and now press the you know f4 key to fix this cell and now press the enter key now click here and put the pointer here and double click on this corner to drag down the value now for ending balance it can be calculated by simply subtracting the principal amount from the you know beginning balance okay so let's calculate it so press the equal to sign and now click this one minus this one and now press the enter key now click here and put the pointer here and double click on this corner to drag down the value all right now click here and scroll down and you can see at this period that is at the 36 period our loan has been successfully amortized okay now you know now let's you know hide these unnecessary periods data by using the conditional formatting okay so for this click here and select the range from here to here and now press ctrl shift button from your keyboard and now press the down arrow to select the entire table and now scroll up and click on the conditional formatting under the home tab and now click on new rule and now click choose this one and now click here and now let's provide this you know cell reference so here i'm going to provide the cell reference by doing manually because here we will you know fix the column not row okay so for this press the equal to sign and provide the dollar sign and let's provide the you know column name that is z and the row number is you know five okay that means if this cell will greater than this one then what will be effect in this table yeah the hidden effect will be applied okay so for this click on format button and choose font tab and now click on this arrow to select the color and choose white background and now click on ok now again click on ok now click here and scroll down you can see our unnecessary PDS data from you know 37 periods to you know beyond has been successfully hidden all right okay now if you want to check whether your, your total interest is equal to this table or not so for this you can you know add the interest column okay so i'm going to add the interest column from period 1 to 36 period okay you can see this amount is exactly equal to this one all right that means our interest column is correct similarly for future value we will you know add this column from period 1 to this and you can see all right similarly for principal you can add this column okay and you can see this one is exactly equal to this one all right so all right now if you will you know change the compounding method let's let's see what will be effect in this table so i'm going to select for annually you can see all right similarly for semi-annually you can see quarterly you can see all right monthly you can see weekly you can see and daily we can see all right now i'm going to select monthly for now all right so we learned how to prepare the loan amortization schedule by using this method all right but let me tell you one thing here in any compounding method okay the interest will not be changed all right the interest amount will be constant all right suppose for example i'm going to you know select the annually you can see the total interest amount is still this one right that is exactly equal to this one all right so whichever the compounding method will be applied the interest amount will be same all right it will you know never change all right so remember these things all right now i'm going to select the monthly all right so guys that's all for now if you have any query regarding this video please ask me in the comment box below we learned all types of methods of loan amortizations okay however if you know any kind of you know other methods of loan amortization please let me know in the comment box below thanks for watching this video if you find it useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you in the next video signing off